Hi, I'm Gary, M0TIG, um, Customer Support Engineer here at MLS. Um, and we're going to be talking about the, there's a, maybe you've had a red light that which, which actually won't go out on the DV4 USB um, stick. It's fairly simple to um, fix and what we're going to do is we're going to do that now. So first of all we're going to go back to the, the website. Um, let's just find it. And it was DV4. And it's .ham-dmr.ch. And simply click on that. And you come to this page here, which obviously has got the, the versions of software on. We're, we're going to go to the version 1.6. And we're interested in this folder here called firmware. Now, some people using Explorer have had some problems you know, actually downloading this file. And let's see if it actually does it for us. And it does instantly. Brilliant. What it's trying to do, Explorer is not great at, at, um, at downloading some documents. And what it's tried to do is actually open the document. And that's absolutely no good to us whatsoever. So what we're going to do is we're just going to return that. And we're going to come, we're, we're going to actually close Explorer. So let's, let's close that. Now, hopefully we've got uh, something like Chrome on. Well, we haven't, so let's, let's go back to Explorer. Um, and we're, gonna, we're just going to go to Google or something like that. So let's go to www.google.com. Okay, and we're going to put in a better way to browse the web. There you go, just get Google Chrome. Um, download Chrome, uh, help make Google Chrome by automatically, no we don't want that, set it as a default browser, I don't particularly need that, you might want that, so accept and install, and we can run that, and we can get rid of that, okay, so we're going to say yes, we want to make some changes, just follow the on-screen on screen instructions okay it looks like it's installing right okay well Google Chrome's installed now um, and it should be just uh, in your in your little menu there which is uh, recently added we're going to click on that um, we're going to ask it not to do don't ask again we're not interested in that now I've taken the, the um, initiative and I've actually just copied and pasted the address so I'm going to paste that in there now that's the, the dv4m.ham-dmr.ch um, we're going to just whiz along to that um, now we can actually get back to this, this folder that we're interested in this version 1.6 and we're going to go to the firmware and now you'll notice instead of all the gobbledygook we've actually should have a download which is what we want. So we're going to just minimize that for a second and we're simply going to drag this and then drop it onto the desktop. Okay, now that's actually running. We've actually now we've actually got the faulty DV4 dongle um, which is in the drive now. Um, and we're going to run the software as per normal. Let's maximize that. And it may not, it, it doesn't really matter that it's, it's found or it hasn't found, it, it, it has in this case the, 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 the dongle. We're going to go to firmware update. And the, the first thing we're going to do is click on flash firmware. Now this is quite often, this is why the red light actually st starts the process of actually remaining on. It's because what happens is when you start the bootloader um, in, in the, the flash firmware, it, it almost puts the... the the DV4 into like a, a programming mode and it needs to finish to actually come out of that programming mode so we're going to start the process it'll ask us to start the bootloader and we're going to say yes um, it's going to ask us where we downloaded that software uh, or the the file so we're going to say we just put it on the desktop and there it is there the DV4 mini underscore 161 dot FW2 um, we're going to double click on that and then all it's going to do then is write to the 
uh, Dongle, and as you can see down here, it's actually writing. And you get the green flashing light, and it goes back to the normal blue as it should. Okay, now on the on the screen, we've we've actually got um, it's so that the update is finished, and then we're gonna um, we're gonna exit and then restart the software. Okay, that's fine. So all we're gonna do is go up to the top here and just exit the software. We're then gonna go back to your shortcut, restart the software. Expand it, it should search for the dongle. And there it is, fixed. Your red light has gone.